Joseph in Hervey Bay, Queensland, Australia, writes to me, um, maybe I need to ask a simpler question to appear on YouTube. <laughs> I can only answer the simple ones. Uh, <clears throat> you recently answered a question regarding RCA versus XLR. And we all know that my answer is always XLR. Always go balanced whenever you can. Okay. But what about AES-EBU? Would that, wouldn't that be a true professional connection we should all use? Well, first off, let's talk about what is AES-EBU, because he's right, AES-EBU is balanced, and it is a balanced digital input, okay? And we've often talked about the advantages of balanced, to where we have one signal going this way and one signal going that way, and they're going like this, and that when we combine those two, any noise or hash on the interconnect is deleted, and it's always better. That said, an AES-EBU is the same as SPDIF, the Sony Philips Digital Interface, which is a, a, a way of taking the I2S data, which has all, it's inside of a CD transport or a DAC, the, the convention is called I2S, and that has uh, separate clocks and separate data lines, okay? So it's, it's got these multiple uh, lines that have separate functions. And in SPDIF or in AES-EBU, those are multiplexed into a single stream, which we're not very appreciative of, and which is why all of our DACs and sources that are digital all have I2S, and we use the HDMI cable for that. Because you don't want to take them down and then take them back up. There's always a loss in that conversion process. So you want to keep it I2S from the source to the DAC. That's the right way to do it. Okay, but if you don't have a PS Audio piece of gear or a piece of gear that uses our format of I2S that we publish publicly so other manufacturers can use it, and they do, which is great, because we'd like to see that as an industry standard. There is AES-EBU, which we were talking about in the first place, which says, okay, we're going to take SPDIF, and we're just going to balance it. Well, yes, it's better. Is it something I would use? That's a hard... I, if, if given a choice, sure, because... Whatever noise is on that digital signal, which is probably plenty, um, it's not going to get erased. It's only noise from the outside. Uh, so ground hums, and none of that really matters a whole lot for digital audio, the stuff that a cable lets through. Now, if it's in a high RF environment or something, maybe that would help. You certainly can't go wrong using AES-EBU, and if you have a choice, definitely use it. I just don't want you to think that you're going to get these amazing benefits like I yap about all the time it, with balanced cables because in an audio sense, there that makes a noticeable difference, noticeable improvement immediately for the price of a cable? Come on. In an AES-EBU versus just coax, just a single RCA connector, you're not going to notice it much if any difference. So I hope that distinction makes sense. And thanks for the question. It was a good one. All right. Bye.